Okay. So during our free play videos, uh, we will be able to choose. Let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to skip ahead to what I'm looking at. I'm not worried about any of this. It'll be all right. Uh, you're able to choose your loadout as far as uh, what items you bring into the, the cookery, I guess. Let's see. Uh, I'll show you. Okay, so after he says Vive LeBron uh, Brigade, uh, you get to choose between three different setups, uh, three different settings. You get to choose what you use in combat, what you use when you cook, and what you use when you cook. <laughs> uh, all of these have many, many different choices, and it's going to take a long time for me to sit and choose every episode. Uh, so this video is mostly going to be a reference for what everything does. Uh, so in the comment section for the Battle Chef Brigade free play videos, uh, you can use this as a reference for what everything does and, and leave your comments on what you think I should try out. I'll go through everything for both combat and cooking. Cook where I'll choose on the spot based on what we need to cook. Okay, so for combat, for Mina, there's double knives. You can throw two daggers at once. There's dash strike. Dodging past enemies does damage. Simon's bear carving. It gives you three additional satchel slots. That means that uh, when you do the hunting section, uh, you have more space to carry items back. You don't have to run back to drop stuff off to get things as often. Dash boost. Temporary speed boost after dashing. Dragon necklace. Daggers set enemies on fire. So when you throw your dagger, it deals additional, uh, it sets them on fire, which deals additional damage. Shiv's frost bracelet. Daggers slow enemies. So they'll move half as fast. They won't attack as often. Uh, for as long as they're slowed down. It's not, it's not permanent. Heart pin. Increases health regeneration. It's kind of unnoticeable because I don't really die a lot in this game. It's, it's to die in this, you have to be trying to uh but you heal over the course of you not taking damage as you as you don't take damage you'll start to heal more and more uh this will increase the speed at which you heal orion's pebble plus one mana magic attacks take mana so when i use or not magic attacks just attacks in general uh so when i throw my dagger or when i use a tornado that that actually costs me mana i have to be able to spend the mana to do it Ketzel Sapphire T, plus four mana. Saskia's Cookie Jar, plus two health. That'll give me extra health. Ziggy's Bottle Cap, plus one health, plus one mana. Stun Dive, stuns enemies when bouncing on them. There's a there's a dive attack. I don't use it too often because I'm worried about what's below me, but. Uh, it, it's a, it's a, actually a strong technique. Stunning dagger. Daggers stun targets. Is that different from, yes, this slows them. This will stun them. Again, it's not permanent. Wise's autographed headshot prevents knockout once. So if I would die, if I would, uh, lose all my health, instead of me dropping all my items and, uh, being regened at the kitchen it will prevent me being knocked out wind satchel plus one satchel slot Karen's wing boots double jump plus, uh, Wilson plushie plus one health mana stone plus three mana health stone plus three health and then the items that are already equipped Again, we have double knives, throw two daggers at once. We have the worry pouch, plus three satchel slot. And the swirling whirlwind. Whirlwind lasts longer, moves around more, and does more damage. All right, so that's all for combat. For cooking, there's plenty of things. Right, now I have selected Leonid's rainbow droplet. It gives me three rainbow ingredients to use. Uh, rainbow ingredients, they don't care what they match with, but you have to match them with two other ones that match. Lava pepper. 
you get one level three red ingredient. Light and spice. You get one level three green ingredient. Abyss salt. You get one level three blue ingredient. Those three will all start in the pantry at the beginning of the game, just like the rainbow droplets do. Focus charm. Extends combo window. Uh, if I ever chain things together uh, very rapidly while matching the gems, I can get a combo. And then the combo will uh, drop down and up promote something from level 1 to level 2 or level 2 to level 3. Uh, this will extend the window during which I have a combo. Tin of candy. Each combo produces twice as many stars. They actually might be really good. Wart Spatula protects fragile taste gems for one extra move. So a gem is fragile when it has those cracks in it, if it breaks for one reason or, or, or if it begins to break for one reason or another. They can only be moved so many times once they have cracks, once they're fragile, uh, before they shatter and demote to the uh, a lower level. This will make it so that they can be moved one extra turn than normal. Ziggy Spicy Ketchup. You get two red sauces. Those will upgrade. Uh, I'm sorry. They will change any gem from whatever they are currently to red if, they, if it hits them. Vial of Ambrosia. You get two promote sauces. This will upgrade something from level one to level two or level two to level three. Orchid Blossom. A taste gem in vegetables and fruits is promoted when collected. Okay. Um, so say you grab what is it the you get you grab the lantern fruit what this will do is upgrade one of those gems at random every time you grab a lantern fruit it will upgrade one of the gems within the lantern fruit at random that goes for fruits and vegetables okay the books are interesting the books are actually really cool uh, this is the apprentice apprentice expertise for ingredient master you get an expertise bonus if you can serve a dish that contains the same ingredient five times. So again, let's use lantern fruit as our example. If I put five, at least five lantern fruit in any one dish, I'm going to get a bonus. I believe the bonus is 50 points, but all these books probably scale based on difficulty. Uh, so if I have five of the same ingredient, I'll get bonus points. Apprentice expertise saucier. I get the expertise bonus if I serve a dish that was sauced three times. Master expertise speed. I get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish that was 50 points by one minute into the match. That's actually really hard. It's really hard, but if you got it, you got it. I know that's a big bonus. Journeyman expertise cookware. I get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish that was processed with three different types of cookware. So it's if I put it in one pot, and then something happens with one of the gems or a set of the gems. And I put it in another pot and something happens with a set of the gems. And then I put it in that third pot and something happens with a set of the gems. I'll get a bonus there. Journeyman Expertise Explorer. I get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish containing at least one ingredient per monster in the region. So there's a bunch of monsters in every area that you play the game in. If I can get at least one ingredient from each monster and put it in the pot, I get a bonus. Master Expertise, Noxious. I get an extra expertise bonus if I use 10 ingredients originally containing poison or bone. So if I put in 10 different ingredients in one pot and they all have, or sorry, in one meal, I should say, and they all have either poison or bone, then I'll get a bonus. Of course, I can't leave that in there, but I'll get a bonus if I do that. Master Expertise, Vegetarian. Again, Expertise bonus if I serve a dish only containing plant ingredients other than the theme ingredient. So let's say the theme ingredient is Armor Rock. Armor Rock is that huge blue one that shot spikes out. Uh, if that's the theme ingredient, then I can have ingredients from that. I'll, I actually need that to succeed. But then other than that, I can only put in plants for the Vegetarian Expertise bonus. Then we have Journeyman Expertise Feast. I get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish containing 25 or more ingredients. So if I'm skilled enough to put 25 different ingredients in one meal and, serve and complete that, then I'll get an expertise bonus. Journeyman Expertise Flavor. 
I get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish with one level three taste gem of each color. Just what it says on the tin. I need one level three fire gem. I need one level three earth gem and one level three water gem. Red, green, and blue. Ziggy's Relish. I get two green sauces. So just like Ziggy's uh, hot sauce or was that ketchup something. Uh, I get two sauces to change anything from whatever color it is to green. We have the ruby jerky. This is two bo uh, basic red ingredients. So I'll get two level one red gems to throw in a pot. This is emerald grass. I'll get two level one green ingredients. And sapphire dew, I'll get two level one blue ingredients. Griffin talons, this is five bone ingredients. I'll get five bone ingredients to put in the pot. Venom gland. I'll get two poison ingredients to put in the pot. There's strength to putting these in if you know what you're doing. Uh, dried fry, uh, sorry, dried fire fish. I'll get two level three red ingredients with poison and bone. Journeyman expertise, spicy. I'll get an expertise bonus if I serve a dish with four level three fire taste gems. Thrash's hot sauce. I'll get two red sauces to use in the meal. Carnivorous pendant. Red taste gems and meat are promoted when collected. So with this, if I grab, let's say, what, what's the thing? The, the Byron, the huge thing that looks like a, a bull or a mammoth. If I kill that and I take its ingredients, um, which are all meat, it will promote the red taste gems in that. The ingredient starter pack. This is assorted ingredients for your pantry. Honestly, I have no idea what's in that. I've never seen that. This is the master expertise for carnivore, just like vegetarian, or I'm sorry, the polar opposite of vegetarian, I should say. Other than the theme ingredient, let's say again, uh, let's say again, lantern fruit. I can serve it. If I serve a dish with no plant ingredients at all, other than the, the theme ingredient, I will get a bonus. Then we have the bony tongues. This prevents poison from popping when stirred. This is actually a really good item. I've never seen this one. And then we have a dollop of ambrosia. This is one large promote sauce. So it will promote gems when it hits them. The other two items I have for cooking are apprentice expertise butcher. It gives me an expertise bonus when I serve a dish containing all ingredients from your matches theme monster. So let's take a look at the hydra. The hydra has... Uh, the arms, the fins, and then I think it's like a brain or something. It has it has one of those. If I have all of those, and that's the theme, if that's the theme monster, and I put all the different ingredients in there, every single one of every single one at least, then I'll get a bonus. Then we have the journeyman expertise. Fo oh, one thing, this only works for monsters. That's why this didn't trigger off lantern fruit last time because it's only one thing. It's a plant. Journeyman expertise. Focus. Expertise bonus when you serve a dish that received a five times combo. That's actually really hard. You have to you have to be on it. You have to know what you're mixing in. But it's worth it. Okay. And like I said, the cookware, I'm gonna choose that on the spot because each different meal requires me to do different things. If I have many different judges, I'm gonna need specific pots or I'm gonna need a certain setup for pots. So I'll be choosing cookware on the spot. All right. I'll see you guys. Oh, I should. I should. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Vive LeBron. Oh, that's not it either. Vive Le Brigade. There we go. That's better.